but because I started drinking so much during the pandemic as well, oh. uh, where I was waking up in the morning and having tequila like at 9 a.m., like literally, and having tequila all day, sometimes sleeping with a tequila bottle next to my bed, because in that beginning where we didn't know what was going on, you know, it felt hopeless. It felt like darkness. It felt like, am I ever going to see anyone again? And like for me and for you or anybody that feels that loneliness, it was extreme loneliness. And it was fear of like never connecting to people again and being alone, being forgotten, not being loved, like all those feelings coming back and then just drinking a lot of tequila. Yeah. And because I had been in a wrestling training for the previous year, I had been like really disciplined with like dieting and working out. I was doing the hardest workouts of my entire life and I had a lot of responsibility. And so when lockdown began, my immediate thought was great. I have no responsibility. I can drink, I can eat and I don't have to work out. There we go. Yeah. And so it began, you know, I just drank and ate at home until it really became unbearable because i I've been suffering from panic attacks uh, for several years as well. Um, and my panic attacks just got completely out of control during the lockdown. And for me, the panic is always about, I am alone, nobody loves me, and I'm going to die. Mm. And it started happening every night. And so when it, when it came to a point where it, was, it had happened for like 10 nights in a row, my therapist basically demanded me to go to a psychiatrist. She said, I'm demanding you to do something about this. And she's right, because I was going to kill myself on one of those nights, you know, yeah. the desperation that I was feeling. And if you know about panic attacks, you know, they're uncontrollable. There's nothing that can snap you out of it, you know. And it's that feeling of I'm going to die or I want to die, yeah. and, you know. Um, so I did look for a doctor. And the first thing he told me was, we need to get you sober because uh, we might be able to stop the panic attack. We might find out that the alcohol abuse is connected to the panic attack. And so let's get you sober. And it was like such a simple way that he put it. Like, if you stop drinking, you can stop having panic attacks. And to me, the panic attacks were the worst thing that I've ever experienced in my life because I would wake up in the morning and be afraid of going through the day and then getting to nighttime when the panic attack would start again. Mm -hmm. So I never wanted anything more than to not have those panic attacks and to not feel those feelings. And so I said, okay, try to get me sober. And thank God I've been sober ever since. This is the Knocking Doors Down podcast, featuring celebrities, experts, and everyday people who have overcome adversities, including addiction, mental health, and trauma, to live purposeful lives. And that's what Knocking Doors Down is all about.